Cholesterol is needed in the body for the formation of healthy cells, vitamin D, and some hormones. However, it can become a problem when the content is high. In this video, we will be telling you the signs and symptoms of high cholesterol, its causes, and its complications. So, what is high cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fatty substance produced in the body. It is insoluble and needs to be combined with proteins in the blood before it can be used. These proteins are called lipoproteins. When the cholesterol content in the blood is high, it deposits fats in the lining of blood vessels. The blood vessels become narrow and hard, increasing blood pressure. This is called arteriosclerosis. These deposits are called plaques and when they tear, a blood clot is formed. If the clot blocks blood flow to the brain, a stroke occurs. If blood flow to the heart is blocked, the person suffers a heart attack. There are two types of lipoproteins and the level of these proteins in the blood is important. Low-density lipoprotein, LDL, harms the bloodstream. LDL transports cholesterol around the body and deposits plaques in the walls of the arteries. This buildup of plaque makes the arteries narrow and hard. High-density lipoprotein, HDL, is needed in the body. It returns excess cholesterol to the liver to be destroyed. HDL level is considered poor if it is below 40 mg per deciliter. Another type of fat called triglycerides also affects cholesterol levels in the body. When the LDL cholesterol level and triglyceride content are high, a person develops complications resulting from high cholesterol levels. So what are the signs and symptoms of high cholesterol? Well basically, there are no signs and symptoms of high cholesterol. Medically, a high cholesterol level is called hypercholesterolemia and can only be detected through a blood test. Regular screening is recommended by medical experts. A blood cholesterol level above 240 mg per deciliter is considered high. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute recommends cholesterol screening every five years. Men aged 45 to 65 and women aged 55 to 65 should have a screening every two years. If a person is over 65, the screening should be conducted annually. Some people inherit the medical condition from their parents. This is called familial hypercholesterolemia. Frequent blood tests, as much as their doctor advises, are recommended. So what are the causes of high cholesterol? Inactivity, obesity, and an unhealthy diet contribute to high cholesterol and triglyceride levels. A person's genetic makeup can also cause high cholesterol levels in the body. Certain diseases can also cause high cholesterol. These include diabetes, AIDS, chronic kidney disease, and lupus. Medications for illnesses like cancer and high blood pressure would also increase high cholesterol levels as a side effect. Some activities increase the risk of developing high cholesterol. These activities are known as risk factors and if possible, should be completely avoided. These include Unhealthy diet Consuming food containing too much saturated and trans fats is a leading cause of high cholesterol. Junk food that is high in fats and calories should be avoided. Obesity, having a body mass index of 30 and above, increases the risk of having high cholesterol levels. Lack of exercise, regular exercises help prevent several diseases and high cholesterol is one of them. Aerobic exercises would burn excess fat in the body and thus, prevent cholesterol levels from rising. Smoking and consumption of alcohol, smoking lowers HDL levels which increases the level of cholesterol in the body. Alcohol raises the total cholesterol level and should be avoided totally if possible. Age, the liver is the organ responsible for cholesterol reduction. As you grow older, the liver functions less effectively and this causes an increase in total cholesterol level. People aged 40 and above are at greater risk of having high cholesterol. What are the complications of high cholesterol? Heart disease. In the United States, a person dies from a heart attack every 34 seconds. This makes heart attack the leading cause of death in the US and one of the deadliest diseases in the world. The buildup of plaque in the artery is followed by a tear or rupture. A blood clot forms around the tear and blocks blood flow to the heart. 
The blockage deprives the heart of oxygen and other nutrients, eventually damaging the muscle and causing a heart attack. Signs of a heart attack are Tightness in chest and arms Anxiety Nausea Difficult breathing Another complication of high cholesterol levels is a stroke. When the blood flow to the brain is blocked by the torn-off plaque, the person is said to have a stroke. A stroke can be fatal and should be treated as a medical emergency. A person suffering from stroke would experience symptoms such as dizziness, slurring, loss of coordination, and drooping facial features. Finally, another complication is peripheral artery disease. Peripheral artery disease, PAD, occurs when the buildup of plaque leads to blockage of blood flow to the kidneys, arms, and other parts of the body. Early symptoms of PAD are fatigue in the affected part and cramping. Without treatment, it would turn chronic and cause gangrene, paleness, and ulcer. It can even cause limb amputation. Let's take a look at how to prevent high cholesterol. The most efficient cure for high cholesterol is a healthy lifestyle. So you can prevent high cholesterol by Exercising regularly Eating food low in fat Quit smoking Reduce alcohol intake So to recap, high cholesterol levels can lead to undesirable complications. There are no symptoms and an early diagnosis is recommended by doctors. People with a family history of having the condition are advised to have frequent medical screenings. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to reduce and lower cholesterol naturally. Thanks for watching and bye for now.